best friend. Shoot breaking news on your cell and send it to pics at wave3.com. Working for you. This is Wave 3 News at 6. You see them all over town, but some popular food trucks say they may have to hit the brakes and close up shop. Good evening, I'm Chanel McDonald. And I'm Scott Reynolds. The city of Louisville says it's the type of small business they want thriving right now, which is why it's relaxing the regulations for food trucks. But some truck owners disagree, saying they're actually worse. Wave 3's Jamie Weiss is here to sort it all out with her new story at 6. Jamie? Scott and Janelle, during the lunch and dinner hours, it's not uncommon to see food trucks parked all over Louisville, except for maybe today. Many of the popular trucks in town have canceled their stops today because they are not in compliance with those new regulations you mentioned, and they aren't sure if they can afford to spend the money to do so. How long do you cook that? Uh, brisket's day and a half. Taste a little piece of Texas. One amigo. Yeah. Right near a gas station in Jeffersonville. There's a pork shoulder. I've got some brisket as well. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if you, if you eat here, you'll be back in Jeffersonville two or three da days a week when he's here. Jim O'Higgins' Holy Smoke food truck is the type of business the city of Louisville says they want in town. Food trucks offer a lot of variety, uh, a lot of life to the streets as well. The city says they've relaxed regulations to promote the small businesses. Basically every time I put my vehicle in park is $200. Now, from what I understand, it's one fee everywhere you go. But most of the food truck owners around town say that's about the only good thing. O'Higgins says he's had so many issues working in Louisville, he now stays out of the city. Matt Davis says he had to park his little cheesers truck because he's now incompliant. I hate canceling jobs. I hate it. You know, people, I, I give them the word that I'm going to be there. I have regular fans. They show up. Davis says he thought the new regulations would help, but after learning about all the new things he has to purchase for his truck employees, like criminal background checks and vendor IDs, he doesn't know when he can afford to get the truck moving again. I, I thought that they were going to make it somewhat simple to operate our concept, and it just seems like that it's just, you know, gotten harder. Davis says he doesn't have a problem staying up to code. I got four time inspected in six months, and I never got less than a 94 but feels like now he has to follow the same rules as a restaurant, plus more. As for trying to fight it. I, I'm tired. I mean, I've been in the mayor's office a few times now. You know, I've talked to these people outside of the office. And the mayor says if he's not happy, he wants to work with him, O'Higgins. Chris gets a couple more dollars. And all the others yep. to invite more food trucks. There you go, bud. Thank you, bud. To town. Thank you. The new rules went into place last Friday. Davis says he was not notified until yesterday. Jamie Weiss, Wave 3 News.